Hello everyone, and welcome to Amnesia, the Dark Descent. So now then, towards the end of the game. Gotta make sure I get all them tender flosses. I probably missed a few. Not sure why it's so, the fish is so wonky since we are just had a slight headache. Something of course blew out all. The torches are gone. Well, that's it. Not quite sure how that works, but oh well, well. I have the tonic. As uh, make sure there's no leftover, you know, tinder boxes. Okay, good. Yep, yep, yep. The castle trembled, and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Right. Let me just... That is you did it. Did it. Thank goodness. Now, pay attention. First, beat me the top, and then use the sword to remove the my head. The sword to remove his head. At the top. Quickly! Off with the head! Yeah. And then... Whatever happens, get me through that gate. Ten what? There's the bones, uh-huh. There are gotta be there. Now to this door. Not sure where that goes to. Or if you didn't have blood, there's blood. I see something over there. Oh. Valley of Vermintide. The thing is out. Uh, I eventually need to repat to patch Vermintide with that giant 11 gigabyte update for lore. Purposes. Seriously, who puts a 11 gigabyte update for lore? That's just silly. And again, it's Warhammer. There's a lot of freaking lore though. Okay, I think I got pretty much everything. Just not on that. 
we should be good, hopefully. I found a Mithrae box. Why did the chat not been planned? Do you know Mithrae? Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old faith, building temples out of caverns. The Dark Walls being the universe, and inside are its flowers. Watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection to creation. The orbs. Yeah, about that. Anyway. Offer the head. And we got a grip ahead. Gotta have a good grip. On that head. <laughs> okay. I don't think there's any tin font now. Might be over hill. Mm, shouldn't trust him. Over hill, just in case you didn't get the mushroom that was I thought there was no mushroom. I don't see it though. I think that should be one. Is. Anyway, don't see any tinder boxes though. What do you think, convenient? Ow, dick. Just being spooky. Not like we're being chased by the red smokeness of it yet. Ah, the joy of being thorough. Oh god, that. Nope, I can't even look at the pipe. No. Pipes got you closed more this time. Seems like we're in danger and all that, but don't think we really are. More oil in case we need it. That one's yeah. I think we're good. Pretty sure we're good. Ish anyway. Now then. Time for a lifeless body, Crimper to say. Tried to remove himself from the sea, but he could not. Instead, he fell to his knees and begged her for forgiveness. Yeah. This time, we won't be ambushed by three of them. At least. But, it's still not safe, because that was one of those guys here. Which is inconvenient, because I sort of need to get to where he's at. Also, we don't have the luxury of going over there, which is why we did that stuff in advance. I also don't really have the luxury of hiding in our spots, mostly.
Oh, PC. He's coming. I yes, but <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, buddy, watch your step. Being a dick. Oh, I think he buggered. Good. Good. Never see it coming. Calm down. This one's I important. cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent? To save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. Yep. It was fine with just murdering people left and right, so long as they apparently committed crimes. Quotation marks. But when it comes down to it, just murdering an innocent little girl, yep, that done after more. So now then. Stop the mission. Only problem though is that's going to attract attention. We can hide here, but defading is going to be a yeah, pain in the ass. Putting pieces in. As they shift and form. To make the oil. Which then somehow magically connects with this. Yay, yeah, Jesus. Alexander, he would still be innocent and be able to die, so... Now then, run. Now we're safe while the door is closed. It might not seem like we're safe, but we are. August 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. 
That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination? Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the Shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster! And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away as we did with them. Yeah, if only you could do that, maybe you wouldn't be such a get in this. But yeah, you're in the possession of this note. I'm sure Alexander's read it. But yeah. The problem though is I'm not sure if we got all the tender boxes or not. Okay, so this isn't really obvious, but yeah, we have to poke ourselves. That drains our sanity a bit. So we go stand over here. So, so I think drains our sanity. Yep. But it completes one of the warding rituals, basically. I mean, we're basically giving it Vitae. Adrenaline filled blood, basically. We have to do that for this one, too. And it goes down this one. We might pass that way. Yep. Begin the ritual. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is Tell everything after he nice to me clear now? Naked. Am I the villain? Pretty much. Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? Oh yeah, Alexander has his reasons by his methods, which is screwed up. Now then, first thing I thought was like there were like three orbs of power in this, but I think there's only like one orb in. Maybe in here or something. It's just using the power of that Traverse locket machine device to power it somehow. So yeah, right now we we sort of have to do this for pretty much all the endings. We have to just wait. For now, technically for one, we just have to push these over. I'll probably do all the endings. Spin. 
bit. Here's the thing. Yeah, probably do. Yeah, we can't just end. We can't end. I can finally return home. Sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. Well, that's a thing. Question though is, did I get? I don't think I got the all the ten boxes. Sadly. Mm, nope, no achievement popped up. <sighs> Sucks. Oh well, now then, on to the other endings. Woo. And I'll cut out the tedious wake part. I was once hit. A whole other world. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? I can finally return home. Yeah, fun times. Walk towards the light. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. Will it? Will it really? So that's sort of the, I guess you would say, good ending. But yeah. And, uh... Now then, only one ending left to go. It's kind of bothers me that I didn't get, you know, all the... I was wondering if you were no, Don't do that. What? Don't push I over these? I realize you doubt my intentions. Stop it. You are ruining it. We are so close. I beg you. It would be nice if you were actually using magic or something to try Maybe. to stop me. I'm saving mine. I'm just like you, Daniel. A prisoner of circumstance. Trapped in a world I no longer recognize. As you gain your freedom, will you deny me mine? 
properly. We are so close. Closer than I've been for centuries. Yeah, about that, though. Oh, you fool! You killed us! You killed us both! Let me kill you. I actually actually prefer this ending. It was my greatest triumph, and I never looked back. Except for those tender bosses. That was my greatest regret. You think I was afraid fleeing Brennenberg? <laughs> Quite the contrary. Probably lost one downhill. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my I was being chased down. Probably lost one down now. Damn you, tender boxes. There's no denying the things I've done. I know I got that. I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. The gone. I did the right thing. I know I got the tender box there. Yeah, we just left the castle. Cause yeah, why not? But anyway, that was Amnesia, the Dark Descent. A fictional games production. Remember when fictional games were only like five people? Yeah. Then, of course, decade thanks to Virginal Games. It's a shame that, well, Machine for Pigs was. Oh god, this mission's a bit loud. I'll talk after the credits. So yeah, the same virtual games, well they didn't direct, I mean they didn't, they didn't make Amnesia Pig, or they, what, they produced it, directed it, something like that. But Amnesia Pig, it was, it was good, but at the same time, the story is quite convoluted and you have to actually piece things together for quite a bit. Sort of had to do that with Amnesia the Dark Descent, but if it's easier to figure out in Amnesia, I mean, the Dark Descent. Because, I mean, you just piece things together that Daniel basically went on an expedition, found an orb, bad things happened, people around him started dying. He panicked, ended up getting a letter from Alexander, went to Brennenberg. Alexander found out he had an or well, no, he, they knew he had an or what am I saying? Alexander 
tricked him into using the orb to, well, under the guise of trying to save him, but then, well, sacrificing people to ward off things and complete the rituals necessary to progress past the bounty this realm into wherever Alexander is going. Then he lost his ship because he murdered a little girl in cold blood, and so took the amnesia minister and wandered apparently all the way out to one side of the castle. And because of that, Alexander just went and proceeded with his plan. Probably also read some of Daniel's journal, which said, Oh, by the way, I'm still going to murder you, Alexander. My problem, though, is I'm not exactly sure how long he was doing the retro. It's not very really explained. Like, he over and started that before Daniel took the amnesia match, or during that, or who knows when. But, yeah. Basic plot is Daniel go murder out Sandra because he made you murder other people. But then, of course, you're given those choices. Just leave, send a grippa, or let Alexander escape, which is, well... To be honest, I sort of like the Alexander in it because, well, Alexander is a douchebag and doesn't really deserve it. He's been working at that for years. I mean, centuries, basically, trying to just escape, so... So it's basically a good ending, well, for Alexander. The Agrippa ending is, well, we both die, but Agrippa and Yoan Wire might save us. Might. Not exactly sure. And my favorite ending that just, screw it, we did it. Let's just walk out. Yeah, we basically sacrifice Alexander to, and technically the orb, and that's apparently we were forgiven by the Guardian and could just leave, apparently, which seems odd that we could leave in the end, but oh well. But yeah. Also, Selma. Virtual Games latest work. I haven't actually heard about any of Virtual Games n what they're doing next or anything. But yeah, Selma. I liked it, but at the same time, it it just wasn't on par with Amnesia. It's like it it was a good example, but at the same time, it didn't really stick. It's just I mean, you had monsters for different segments and. They just, most of them weren't that really that threatening. The one that really, the segment that really bothered me, of course, was the Abyss segment. That one was, ooh, that one bothered me. But other than that, yeah, it just, I mean, it did scary at times, but other than that, it's just not as memorable as, well, this. But anyway... That was Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Once more, done. And it's been what? Let's see. I think I started in what? The end of 2010? Start of 2011? So. Yeah, about six years. Of course, pretty much everyone started around about the same time, either 2010 to 2011, 2012. Somewhere in that range is when most everyone started with, you know, amnesia. Might, might be a few earlier than that, but yeah. It's pretty much the general assumption that everyone started around there. Of course, there was probably some Let's Plays before that, but well. 
Anisha is pretty much where I, the whole Let's Play thing really popped on YouTube. Because people were freaking out over video games. It's apparently marketable. <laughs> really, really marketable. Of course, I don't even have ads on my videos, and I make pff, nothing off of it. I mean, I do have Game Wisp, but no one's actually subscribed to a Game Wisp. Thank you, dicks. I don't make any money off this. I just make them because, well, I like making videos. It gives me something to do. Whether people watch or not, so... Oh well. 700 subscribers, almost 3,000 failures now. I think I'm making decent progress for not making any profit, though. Anyway, till next time, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.